me. Trey saw the speedball, it's a pretty big one. He's just upstairs, we've got it on good authority that he's very excited about our interview. So let's see what happens. Pocket full of money, club don't jump till I walk inside the doorway. Bottles of that rose, smelling like Dolce and Gabbana. Shout to you, the baddest, and to meet you is an honor. Hi guys, I'm Georgia here with the legendary Trey Songs in a very exclusive Central London location. Just gonna give him a bit, a bit of a grilling, really. We've got a competition winner, Heather, over Grill me? there. Grill Yeah, a bit of a, a bit of probing for SB. Grill me? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> So you just landed in the UK. Um, a bit. Yeah, man, take it, take it slow, you know. Um, how are you finding it? <laughs> it's great. Yeah. I love London. Yeah, yeah, you like it. Yeah. yeah what you been up to since you've been working? You know, mm -hmm. I did a little shopping yesterday. But... Yeah. Get any nice cars? Uh, well, I didn't. This is all old. Mm. Okay, and um, you, you you've been signed for five years now. Uh, what kind of uh, would you say has been your career highlight along the way? Well, I've been signed for seven years. Oh yeah. Uh, career highlights. Well, the last year has been phenomenal. You know, I toured with Jay Z, sang with Stevie Wonder, kissed Tony Braxton. Kiss. Uh, Ooh. Met the president. Uh, How was he? Just the name of few, I think. Oh yeah, just just a uh, drop in the ocean, really. You know, no on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> um, how was uh, How was Obama when you met him? Oh, he was yesterday? great. Yeah. You know, he's he's an amazing person. Uh, you know, he's the president. Yeah, <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty big guy. Uh, so you've got a load of new stuff coming out. Well, what can we expect from your new album? Uh, the new album, you can expect uh, a better album than this one, and this one was pretty great. You know, uh, I want to use the same formula that I did, but trying to surpass, you know, uh, what this album did, not only in sales but in, you know, uh, recognition I receive and. You know, awards I'll, I'll get for it, and just more so making sure that I make an album that that is phenomenal sound wise. You know, uh, I want to be a better singer on it, a better songwriter. You know, just trying to be better. And are you, are you going in a bit of a different musical direction from your last album then? Uh, somewhat. Yeah. Somewhat. Uh, you know, I think with every album I have to grow some, and you know. I sprinkle a little bit of the, you know, last album is Black Roses, Your Side of the Bed, uh, Be Where You Are, all uh, different sounding records for me. Uh, and I think this album will sprinkle a little more. Yeah. But while keeping the same core. Mm. Yeah. And have you been working with different producers this time around there? Actually, I have been working with a lot of the same producers that I did. Uh, Troy Taylor, of course, is on every album. Uh, John Tay Austin has helped me out this, thus far. And I only have, I have a lot of songs, but I only have six songs that I'm really like married to and that I love, so I have a long way to go. Yeah? yeah. Sounds good. And um, we're, we're um, moving on to the fun section now. If you could form a super music crew, obviously you've worked with a lot of amazing artists, but if you had to narrow it down, you, you can throw in two singers, two rappers, and a producer. Who would be your dream team? Two singers other than myself? Mm-hmm. Hmm. And two rappers and two producers? Uh, just one producer. How does the money work? Well, we can we can sort that out later. You know, first of all, we've uh, got to form the band. Uh, me, Usher, and one more singer. Yeah, Chris could come. Yeah. Drake, Jay Z, and one producer. Mhm. Mm Kanye. Kanye, yeah. yeah I was about too. to say it. I was about to say it. <laughs> yeah, <yeah, yeah>, cheated. <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, how about Lady Wars? You've um, had the pleasure of working with quite a few nice ones. But um, if you had to rate them, obviously we don't want to be rude. But um, if you had to rate them, Alicia Keys, Beyonce, and Kerry Hilton, uh, what, what sort of would your order of preference be? <laughs> <laughs> if you had to rate them, we don't want to be rude. Yeah. <laughs> how did you? What? How did you say it? Uh, we've got Alicia Keys, Beyonce, and Kerry Hilson. So swap the first two around. Yeah, so what we're going Beyonce, Alicia, Kerry, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Beyonce is your number one. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's, she's pretty top of her game, you know, I would. Yeah. I'll, I'll probably choose Beyonce as well. And um, there might be a few UK ladies out there who might want to uh, grab your attention. Have you got any advice for them? What, what, what sort of thing are you looking for? Uh, well, I love a woman who's uh, very well groomed, I love a woman who smells good. Hell, it smelled good when she came out. <laughs> really? Well, <laughs> I think that's not going on there, guys. <laughs> she walked past her. 
Yeah. Just the, yeah. the, the aroma. The aroma. It. <laughs> just, just caught me. Caught me on a frenzy. Yeah. <laughs> Knocked me in the face. Uh, <laughs> you know, sexy yet tasteful. You yeah. Know, uh, I like sexy clothes that don't aren't too exposing. Mm -hmm. uh, and don't be overtly aggressive. You know. Okay. You know, be a lady. I love women that are ladies. Yeah. Oh, there you have it. And uh, finally, you are of course here in Blighty, we're in London. Uh, what kind of uh, UK artists are you looking to at the moment and being inspired by? I actually haven't gotten a chance to really uh, take it in. Uh, Estelle's my label mate. I've been waiting on for her for a while. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's the most I know about UK artists right now. You can put me up on game though, what's up? Yeah? Spit something. <laughs> <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not rapping, Meg. Yeah. I thought you were gonna put on. Oh no, sorry, man. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't got my rap game on today. Don't put that hat on. But, my bad, yeah. but I'm sorry for you. But um, so what are you looking to work with the cell soon then, or? I would like to. Uh, yeah. She's had a new album, though, so I didn't make it. Mm. So maybe, maybe in the pipeline next time. Maybe. No, 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 no. All right, uh, we've got a couple of questions from Heather now. Mm -hmm. The sweet-smelling lady herself. <laughs> she does. You smell. might not want to do that, man. Why not? Mm, nervous, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> now, I was going to say your video for your side of the bed. You just like that's just like been released. Your side of the bed. Your side. Your side. Your side. Your side. It's lonely on your side of the bed. Your side. Your side. It's dedicated to US troops. Yeah. Is that something, the war in Iraq, is that something that you've got strong beliefs for or against, or is it close to home? I mean, I think it's something that uh, is not forgotten, but a lot of times it's looked over. Dedication and, you know, uh, the true bravery that goes into going to war, mm -hmm. you know, leaving your family behind and going to fight for your country. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so I, I don't I don't really believe in, in war, but like you know it is it's inevitable. It it. It's mm -hmm. inevitable. So uh, you know we have troops that that go and fight those battles that I would never. You know I know I'm, I'm not brave enough to do that. Uh, so I, I just wanted to let them know that they they loved and let them know the families know that I care. Yeah, and you got to work with Kerry Hudson. Yeah, that was a plus. Um, <laughs> last question. Um, if you saw a woman you were interested in, how would you approach her? How would I approach her? Because we've asked how a girl can impress you. Now, how would you go about impressing her? Impressing, approaching, what you want? Approaching. Approaching? Approach? Yeah, yeah. Well, I first introduce myself and, you know, be very honest about would you, what would, I would you introduce yourself as Trey Songs or? No. No? That's not my name. No, that's what I mean. So would you, how would my you name is Trey. Trey. Yeah, Trey. Tremaine is my name, but everybody calls me Trey. Okay. Even before Trey sounds, but I just uh, I don't believe in you know pick up lines or you corny, want cheesy, yeah, no. corny shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just just be real and you know be real about your interests and what you like and you know if you turn me down, you turn me down. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, and thanks a lot, Trey. I feel like uh, we've, we've learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Songs. This is competition winner Heather from Chester. Hi. Oh, she's a bit hot and bothered after that meeting, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Wow, he really knows how to make a girl go. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, a bit hot. Hot under the collar. <laughs> we spoke about what kind of ladies he likes, Heather apparently, <laughs> as well as the musical influences. So hope you like that. Don't forget to keep it locked right here at svtv.co.uk for more marvellous competitions.